Hi Primfers, the look I'm going to do for you today is uh, the Thick Black Eyeliner from Camilla and Mark Show. It's very 70s, quite retro, very sexy and it's a great place to start if you're not used to using liquid eyeliner because it's so thick, you've got a lot of room for error, which we always like. So I've already prepped my skin with foundation and concealer and I'm just going to go right ahead and use my little black eyeliner brush and my eyeliner here, my gel eyeliner, and just go right ahead and apply it. So kind of look down and back, I think, is the best technique that I've tried. And just using the flat part of the brush, apply a thick line along your lash line, keeping it really close to your lashes. Now this look is meant to be thick, so it's not like it's one of those thin dainty lines that you kind of have to struggle with. This is great, and that's why it's such a good place to start when you've got the thick black line. You don't have to worry too much about making mistakes because just make it thicker. It's brilliant. Now do the other eye. Again, using the flat side of the brush and tilting your head back. Now just let that dry because I have found that I've tried this a couple of times and as soon as I close my eyes the black from the liner kind of smudges so just kind of hold it there for a little bit before you take the wings out on the side which I think is the, the part that most people have trouble with just trying to get them even but because these are thicker, it's I find that when it's like a little thin flick, it's much harder to get even. But because these are thicker, it's a little better. Okay, so that should be dry now. Apply more colour to the brush. And you want the line, where it should be is directly from the corner of your eye up towards your brow. So that line right there. Now you can try Ray's sticky tape trick, which we've got on Primped and PTV. Um, but if you're not going to do that, just kind of... Follow that line from the edge of your nose, corner of your eye, out there. So kind of measure it. Keep it in mind. And just flick up here. Which is kind of what this look was. It was even almost out a little bit further on an angle. So you can make it thicker if you want. It's meant to be quite dramatic. And so that line there is the right line for my eyes. Okay, then again do the other side. So kind of measure it. See where you're going. And again, take it up and out towards your brow. Okay, now just make sure that they're similar thickness, that they look even. Fill in any gaps before applying your mascara. It's so retro this look, it's pretty cute. I quite like it. Personally, I don't think I would go for something this thick during the day. Even at night, it's a little bit full on, but I prefer like that really thin, sexy line. But, you know, a lot of people kind of love the fatness of this. And again, I don't know how many times I need to stress this. This is the third time. If you're afraid of liquid liner, start by trying something like this where it is a massive fat line that you don't have to worry about. Now, the lips for this were kept quite nude, very no gloss. There was nothing on them. But I have just found this new Shoe and Mirror lipstick. It's this amazing bright pink color that's been sitting under my desk and I've been wanting to use it for ages. So I thought to celebrate the final look of seven looks in seven days, I'd go a bit wild on the lipstick. And because the eyes are a bit retro, this color's a bit retro, I thought, oh, bugger it. I'll just go all out on the lips as well. So I'm just going to pop on this color for fun. Because it's just the best color ever. It's so cute. Um, and that finishes off my seven looks in seven days, guys. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Um, and, you know, if there's a look that you want to recreate or that you want me to recreate, let me know because I love doing these vids. And uh, it's always just a bit of fun. So I hope that you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Thanks, guys.